Hi Rockstars, this is Susan with Blue Vinyl Stickers. Today I am going to get you a tutorial on how to do a uh, mock-up for your vinyl decals. So th the first thing you need to do is go over to the Rockstar files and download uh, the white mug that I have actually put up there for you. And uh, it's free for you to use. Download it and that's what we're going to use as our backdrop today. So I created a folder on my desktop. Um, please create a folder. Uh, we'll be putting a lot of different things into this folder and you just need to keep track of them and where they are. So you're going to need to open up a few windows. And the windows that I have open are my uh, Etsy window with the uh, new listing. I'm going to open up Canva www.canva.com and I'm going to open up my uh, picture editing software that I use to make transparent backgrounds. So if you have a favorite um, software that you like to use to make transparent backgrounds, by all means use it. Today I will be using Lunapic. You will also need to open up your uh, photo or excuse me, your design software, whether it be Inkscape or Cuts a Lot or uh, Silhouette or Design Space, one of those, any of those, as long as you have your uh, decal on your screen, what you're going to need to do is turn that decal into a picture. So however you do that in your software, uh, go ahead and do that. With Silhouette, I say file, save is, we're going to save this as a hard drive. I'm going to come over here to my desktop, open up my white mug, and I am going to say JPEG because we want to save it as a JPEG. And I've already saved it, but I'm going to go ahead and resave it. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and set our design software off to the side. So in your folder, you should have the white mug background, and you should have the decal that is now a picture. Okay, Both of these are just pictures and we will be combining the pictures in the other two softwares here in just a minute. Now the one thing that I do do is I do crop out uh, all this white uh, background. So whatever software you use to do your cropping, please open it and uh, make the crops. If you're using uh, Windows, then you should have a software called Photos in the Windows folder. And that's what I use. So I say Edit, and I am going to crop this down as close as I can get it, comfortably get it. You don't have to go super close, but close enough. You just want to reduce that, that footprint down. Okay, and I'm going to say Done, and I am going to say Save and save it to here and go cropped. And I can go ahead and close my editing software. So there is the picture that we are actually going to use and not this one. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and close that window. I'm going to come over here to Lunapic and I'm going to say Upload. So click on Upload and you'll have this window that says Quick Upload. Click on Choose File and we're going to choose that cropped file and it will bring it in. Okay, so there it is. All you simply need to do is click on Transparent and it turns it into a transparent background. It's as simple as it is. Then say File, Save Image, we're going to save the image as a PNG. We're going to save it in white mug and we're going to save it as whatever you've been calling it. And say save. Now come over here to Canva. Now remember that 1500 by 1500? If you come into here, 
you can have a whole bunch of preset sizes, but the size that we want is not here. So we will need to make a custom size. So click on custom dimensions. I put in 1502 just because I want to make sure that mine fits perfectly. So I say create the design. Okay, and here is our canvas. Now, if you've used Canva be before and you click on uploads, you will have a lot of uh, pictures here. Okay, so here is the picture. I've already got it uploaded. Um, and this is the background. So I'm going to just go ahead and click once and it puts it onto our surface, our work surface. Click and drag the little handles until your picture fills up that white area. And you can move it around, um, do whatever you want to, as long as you have filled that white area. Okay. And if you want to try to make it, get those lines to show where it's perfect, you can do that too. Okay. Now, we are going to upload the cropped picture, the, the transparent picture, excuse me. We're going to upload the transparent picture. And there it is. And go ahead and again, click on that. And you see the white edges around it. Don't worry, we're putting it on a white mug. They won't show. So size it down to where you want. I want this mug. Oops, let's get rid of this. Rid of that layer. And we're going to get rid of this layer because I did something wrong. So click on it. Make it big. See, I cut off the bottom there. So I want to make sure I don't cut off the bottom. There you go. And go ahead and click on that again. And resize it to fit your mug. And say download. We want to download it as a PNG. That's fine. Say download. And I'm going to say finished mug. And that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to come back over here to create a listing with Etsy. And I'm going to go to finished mug. Upload it. And there you go. Whoops. I know you've all done that. And here is your finished product. Now, as you can see, there's a white line on the bottom. So I didn't get it all the way down to the bottom. So if that happens, come back over to your design, do what I did before. Trash it, trash it, and do it again. And there you go, all fixed. So that's it. Um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up. I'm always around the forum somewhere. And um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.